Welcome to our lecture online. In the previous video, we were given an equation of a plane and we we're supposed to find three points and that's what we did. Now we're going to take those three points to see if we can get back to the original plane or the equation of the original plane. And that way we can verify that this technique is actually a valid technique. All right, how do we do that again? Well, to do that, we need to find two vectors on the plane. And so we can do that by drawing a vector from P1 to P2 and from P1 to P3. So starting with P1 to P3. Oh, uh, no, to P2. Let's go to P2 first. All right. So that's equal to 4 minus 1 in the i direction plus 5 minus the minus 2 in the j direction and plus 2 minus a minus 3 in the k direction. So simplifying that, our first vector, p1 to p2, is going to be equal to 4 minus 1, that is 3i. That would be plus 7j and plus 5k. There we go. First vector. Now we need the second vector from p1 to p3. So from p1 to p3, that is equal to negative 3 minus 1 in the i direction plus 2 minus minus 2 in the j direction and plus 17 minus minus 3 in the k direction. Simplifying that, the vector p1 to p3 is going to be equal to minus 4 in the i direction plus 4 in the j direction and plus 20 in the k direction. So there's our second vector. Now, of course, to find the equation of a plane, we need the vector that's perpendicular to the plane, and we can accomplish that by taking the cross product of these two vectors. So that means that v perpendicular is going to be equal to the cross product of p1 to p2 and p2, p1 to p3. And so that's going to be equal to, in the matrix format, we have i, j, k, the components of this vector, which is 3, 7, and 5, and the components of this vector, minus 4, 4, and 20. So that's equal to i times 7 times 20, which is 140, minus 4 times 5, which is 20, minus j times 3 times 20 is 60, minus times a minus, that would be plus 20, 4 times 5, and plus k, notice we have alternating signs, plus i minus j plus k, and here we have 3 times 4, which is 12, and minus times a minus, which is plus, 4 times 7, and which is 28. All right, simplifying that, we find that the perpendicular vector is equal to, oh, let's write perpendicular the right way, not a t, but like this, okay? And we get uh, 120 in the i direction, minus 80 in the j direction, and plus 40 in the k direction. Now, notice that we can define another vector, same direction, by scaling this down a bit, because those are big numbers. So let's divide everything by 40, and so we can draw, then draw, uh, find a second vector. We can see that the vector perpendicular uh, we'll take a second vector, we'll sub 2 there, and again, I keep writing a t for some reason. There we go, perpendicular. All right, 120 divided by 40 gives me 3i, and minus 8 divided by 40 is minus 2j, and 40 divided by 40 is plus 1k. And notice that this is a much more convenient vector. Now we're ready to find the equation of the plane. Now I need to pick one point, and I need to pick the coefficients of the components of the vectors here. All right, so that means that the equation can be written as follows. So using one point and the normal of the vector, that's called the point normal form of the equation. That means we're going to get a times x minus x sub naught plus b times y minus y sub naught plus c times z minus z sub naught being equal to zero. The line there so we don't get confused. So plug in the numbers. So for A, we get 3 
times x minus x sub naught. So let's take our first point right here, which is minus 1, plus b, which is, oh, that would be a minus 2, so convert this to a minus, minus 2 times y, minus a minus 2, that would be plus 2, and plus c, c is a plus 1, times z minus a minus 3, that would be plus 3, equals 0. Now, notice that this should equal this if we did everything correctly. That's what we're trying to see. So, we get 3x minus 2y plus z. That's correct over here. And uh, now we have minus 3. Minus 2 times a plus 2, that minus 4. And 1 times 3, that would be plus 3 equals 0. So here we get 3x minus 2y plus z minus 3 minus 3 that uh, minus 3 plus 3 cancels out minus 4 equals 0 and bring it a 4 across we get 3x minus 2y plus z equals 4 and notice that's the exact same equation that we started with on the previous video which means it does seem to work the technique to find points on a plane seems to be justified in that we take those points and turn it back into the same equation we started with and that is how it's done. Not a general vigorous proof. <laughs> That's how physicists prove things. Obviously. <laughs> it works.